Well then. Before we meet His Highness, I believe the plan was to assess Stepan's situation? Yes, but I don't know how. Hey! Is Silmeria Valkyrie sleeping up there? I don't know. She won't answer me. Perhaps she sensed Hrist, and now she's hiding. Are we being followed? Wait, nobody said anything about that. This is getting out of hand. You don't have any loyal servants left in the castle, do you? Dallas. Who's that? If Dallas were here... He's a childhood friend. I heard he became one of the three mages. The three mages? Do you think they'll know what Dupan's up to? I'm pretty sure the Three Mages' laboratory is underground. But that's just what I've heard. I've never actually been down there. I remember underground chambers. Only back then they were used as dungeons. Let's go. I hope we can find them. Let's stick together. Please speak to me. I need your help.
I hate to break it to you, but I'd say Dupon really is keeping pet monsters. No! This can't be. Oh, Father. If they won't retreat, they must die.
coffins? No, I don't think so. The monsters we just fought. Looks like they were growing them in here. Why don't you come and take a look for yourself? What? Is he a friend of yours? Apparently. This voice. Am I the only one who can hear it? The King. Barbarossa has driven him to despair. We don't work for the King! Tell him that! Nobody listens. I sense danger. Beware that long arm.
It's really you! Uh, Alicia, what are you doing here? This is no place for you. You must leave right away. What's wrong? I can't say. Why? Because of those damn experiments you're performing? Uh, is it true, Dallas? What I saw in the laboratory? Did you really do that? <laughs> they have data on time. Demons. And elves. Elves? Even the dragon orb. Isn't that a bit extravagant for patching monsters together? Playing around with a treasure that was hidden to preserve Midgard's eternal peace? You who call yourselves mages must be aware how dangerous that is! <laughs> Are they right, Dallas? Please tell me, is it true? Answer me! The Dragon Orb is one of the four treasures, and Odin seeks it as well. What did you say? Forgive me. Alicia. Just answer the question. What is the king plotting? King Barbarossa seeks power that will allow him to oppose Odin. But you should know... We swore to take the secret of our research to our graves, Dallas. Foolish mortals, you underestimate the orb's power. Father! Insolence! <laughs> My daughter is no more. No one in this world has the right to call me father. Now, to the dungeon with them. Stop them! Yes. Sir. Forgive me, Alicia. I was so close.
<sighs> Silmeria, now do you see? You needn't even encourage them. Japan is fully intent on fighting Lord Odin. They'll even use the Dragon Orb, a forbidden act. Yes, forbidden for humans and gods alike. Silence, mortal! You will speak when I ask you to! But if Silmeria refuses to respond, I have no choice. Sacrifice Dipan, or see all of Midgard annihilated. It's up to you. Hmm. <sighs> you are worthy indeed, mighty warriors. I will take all of you together with me to Valhalla. Japan does not fight because it wants to. Odin's tyranny leaves Japan no choice but to take up arms. Don't be a fool. You've been poisoned by mortal arrogance. The peace and prosperity of Midgard exist because the gods wrought law upon the land. I recognize the feats of the gods, but that time has passed. I have not been poisoned. Now the gods take and give nothing in return. Humans do not need them. Why won't you help save Japan? Help save Alicia. Think like a Valkyrie. Do not concern yourself with a single country or one mere mortal. We cut down the weeds of dissent before they grow out of control. It would appear I underestimated you. But in the end, you stand to gain nothing from this. Why the long face, my dear? You'll just have to sit tight for a spell while we finish our research. But it's straight to the guillotine for you two. You won't harm her! Back off! Wings of Providence, carry me to safety!
great Odin's raven! What happened? It was a teleportation spell. The traitor, Dallas! Dallas is locked securely in the dungeon. Who other than the three mages could be capable of casting such a spell? The new apprentice! Where are we? Uh, did the castle collapse? I believe we're outside. It was a teleportation spell. Alicia, your majesty. I beg your pardon. I had no choice but to resort to such crude methods. And you are? Lizard. Lizard Valeth, at your service. I had been assisting the three mages in their research as an apprentice. I'm sorry, but why did you rescue us? I thought you, Princess, could put a stop to the King's dangerous research. Could you tell me more about this dangerous research? The king is seeking to transcend this mortal coil by creating a closed timeline. A new world tree stemming from neither the heavens, the underworld, nor the world of mortals. In other words, independence from the gods. That is beyond transcendence. What he seeks is a power possessed by Odin alone. Is that why they need the Dragon Orb? That was their conclusion, following countless failed experiments on elves and the undead. Damn. So Dapan alone would break free from the laws of nature and enjoy eternal prosperity. I myself found it absurd, Lady Silmeria Valkyrie. So you know of me? Just what Dallas told me. It is said, the Dragon Orb has enough power to set the whole world aflame. Even gods are powerless before it. The King's plan may be feasible. You're not thinking of finding the Orb for Dapan, are you? For Dapan? No. For all Midgard. I will find the Orb, and Alicia shall be the Guardian. That would put an end to the King's dangerous research, would it not, Sir Lazard? You are everything I had hoped you would be. The oath I swore to Dapan still holds. You say that now, but maybe you'll just take the orb and run to Odin. Well, if that's your theory, then come along and keep it from happening. But... If you aren't sincere about fighting Odin, you won't stand a chance. <laughs> I'll show you sincere. We'll need everyone's strength to get through this. I'm counting on you all. Let us then depart the forest for Coriander before pursuit draws near. So, is that where we'll find the Dragon Orb? It was the last recorded sanctuary of the orb.
I believe we are safe now. Shall we adjourn here until the morrow? What makes you think we're safe? I cast a force field around the forest. Even were Walther to follow us by teleportation, he would be unable to reach us here. In that case, we should rest. I wouldn't mind resting. You surprised me. I thought Silmeria was still with us. She only comes out when we need her for object reading. Usually it's just me. I'm sorry. I wish I could be of more help. I beg your forgiveness. I never intended to insinuate such a thing. As one versed in the arcane, I am merely intrigued by two spirits sharing one body. Sweet talk all you want. Silmeria can see right through it. So can object reading be used to read another's mind? Well, seems like it should be possible. Interesting. Shall we give it a try? It would be an honor, Lady Silmeria. If you have thoughts or feelings that are inseparably bound to another life, or memories of someone who affected you deeply, then I can read those thoughts. Is that so? Allow me to abstain. I would rather not know about my other lives. Perhaps the gentleman would oblige. I'd like to believe that in all my other lives, I have been a defender of Depan. If you mess around with your powers, won't that other Valkyrie detect us? You've got a point. You two must also be fatigued from your journey. A brief respite is in order. I shall wake you before the sun is high. Naturally, I shall keep watch as you rest. <laughs> <laughs>